Where are we going? We're going hunting. Who's that? November 12th. So this is the first morning we could get out and we got set up at 9 o'clock. I had to drop off my daughter uh, before coming out, but at least we get to hunt a little bit earlier today. I'm up to bat. We're in the same public that I shot my buck in. Uh, we decided to come a little deeper. Um, we also have a new mic, so I'm not sure how well it is, but it's a wireless mic, so it should be perfect for days like today as you can see it's it's blowing it's snowing a little bit it's cold we're just in this huge field where there's just tons of sign but there's no trees to hunt it so we're thinking that not much we will actually hunt it anyways if we had the right one we would have went for um I'm kind of talking about because my face is like frozen <laughs> my cheeks don't move but if you had the right one uh marvin probably would have went to the spot that we found, I think it was like on Monday, but <laughs> yeah, we got a dandy of a buck on camera over there. We just need the right wind to go in and go after him and hopefully get more on a buck, but it's possible. I never hunted from the ground like this in particular, especially a ground hunt like this. I also forgot my uh, binoculars, so that has my release, so good thing Martin shoots the same release as me. He just shoots a four finger and I shoot a three but a bear all right stay tuned hopefully we see something today this is my last day till I go back to work tomorrow unfortunately Martin is gonna be out Martin's got still got the rest of the week off let's see if we can make it happen today and uh yeah we got our butts kicked by the wind and me and Martin don't feel the greatest anyways because we've been out here almost like every day. We caught like a cold or something. Yeah, at least we didn't completely have a complete loss of the morning, I guess, just because we did find that really nice spot here in this piece of public, a little more deeper in, but um, yeah, we're gonna just keep getting at, at them. Hopefully we can get one here soon, um, but we're really close to them, so trying to figure, out, figure them out in the areas that we do hunt, but <clears throat> yeah. I don't know what the plan is, Marvin's going out tomorrow, and then we'll probably catch Marvin tomorrow morning, and I'll be at work, on, unfortunately, but it is what it is, until this is my job, and I'll work on my
to see him though. Uh, testing, testing. Okay, guys, I'm back in my truck, and let me put my window up. So, um, yeah, I hunted till about one o'clock today. Oh my! Today I only seen a couple of deer. I seen one buck that came in. I didn't have a grunt, so I couldn't grunt him in, but. Had a lot of does near me, battery died, I couldn't switch it out in time, couldn't move, they were right under me, but, yep, it was pretty, pretty good morning, I hunted for, got in kind of late, but, you know, it is what it is, but it was a good hunt, didn't get to pull back on nothing, nothing too big, uh, I jumped two deers walking in, but there's, there's a lot of people hunting here, I, Right when I walked out, this dude was in there, and I gave him some tips, like where to go. He said he's first time hunting ever, bow hunting and hunting ever. So I was told him just to walk as far as you can walk, and then you should have good, good hunts. Well, it's currently nine o'clock. We got here around seven. I even walked around for the last two hours. Just really, so we're in this bottom. We got about 20 miles per hour winds. <clears throat> and it's blowing, and it can gust over 40 miles per hour at times. So we decided to come deep in this bottom. And we're out of the wind, we're not getting touched by the wind at all. Yeah, I came to the bottom, there's a ton of sign. It's the only crap thing is, it's all pine trees. So, like this is the only tree we could find that is decent, but we're surrounded by scrapes and grubs and all sorts, of, like there's bugs here. And we know there are, there's bugs here. Well, we're gonna sit all day, unfortunately, after today. Unfortunately, after today, I won't be able to hunt for eight or nine days straight, so, just because of work. So we're gonna hunt all day. Um, we'll probably move a couple times, maybe. Um, if we feel like we're not being productive in one spot, we'll probably move and set up in a different spot and find a new tree in new areas. But yeah, we're gonna be sitting all day, sun up to sundown. Um, we have two bottles of water and one stick of, what is it, sausage? Yeah, summer sausage from the buck I killed last year, so. Um, yeah, hopefully we see some. I don't know how much more we've got of us like seeing all the sign, but there's, there's, it's just everywhere down here. Uh, and just so thick that you can't really hunt it unless you're hunting on the ground. But we did find one tree that might work. So stay tuned, hopefully we see something today. and that bottom but that's like all pine trees and thick stuff but as you guys can see we're on the other side of the ridge now and this bottom and this one looks a lot more promising um there's just not as much bug sign but there's tons of trails and when we were crossing the ridge it's that same trail that we hunted um when i shot my buck on halloween but on top of this ridge there's like three or four tree stands up about two, three hundred yards up here. Um, but yeah, we were crossing it and we seen uh, three guys or whatever, and then I uh, didn't see us or and or talk to us. But um, I pulled out the my I pulled out my binoculars and <clears throat> guy killed the dandy of a buck, nice big old one. So uh, yeah, they're up and moving. We're in a I think we're in a really good spot actually. We're a little bit more towards the top of the hill and the right here, right to my right, it's all straight bottom. So, yeah, we're probably just gonna stay here for the rest of the day unless we see deer that are consistently, you know, 
somewhere that we can't really shoot them then we probably will move over there real quick but as of right now it, this spot right here looks pretty good and right behind me there's it's that trail where I shot my buck so yeah behind the pines I always thought it was more pines but now over here is all oaks and whatnot so something we can hunt a little more huh? but I think we're actually gonna crack open that summer sausage because I'm pretty hungry but we got about five or six hours left in the day shooting light and with camera light so really like five hours left and this mic's dying so we gotta switch over to the shotgun mic you forever forget that's why you keep a fixed blade in your quiver
you just climb down? Man, we figured out that the mic was this our wireless mic was dead, so we put on a shotgun mic, which is unfortunate <coughs> that he didn't get a reaction for it. Um, yeah, so what happened was came right here, right on that trail, but like we always heard them in the pine trees. We always figured that they were in here, but they, I guess they just walked around these pines, right in the cover, right in the shadow. But meanwhile, we're just sitting there talking. I literally just sneezed and I was coughing like crazy. And Warren looks behind me and he goes, there's a deer right there. I said, what? Look, and if we, at first he didn't look that big. And then Warren's shaking and <laughs> stuff. But he didn't look that big and he kind of came out and was opening right here. And I was like, oh, he's, he's big. I'll shoot, I'm gonna shoot that one. He's a DC, he's a good one right there. Like that's a shooter all day on public. So he came over here and kind of lost him in this thick stuff over here. So I grunted, I grunted towards that way. And here he comes and he gets behind this tree and I pull back and I thought he was gonna walk out right here and it would've been like a 10 yard shot. But yeah, with the saddle, I, would, I probably wouldn't be able to, I've been able to kill the stair without a saddle, honestly. So he came right here and he kept, he ended up coming straight behind the tree. And I had to like go all around the tree. And I tried stopping him about like four or five times. I, you know what it looks like? The what? buck that the, the one you shot at got chased out by? Yeah, it looks like that little one. But, yeah, so we're gonna go see his blood trail. I'm pretty sure we saw him crash right over here. It's only, <laughs> it's only 12 o'clock. Midday buck, baby. Midday buck. Which is great, because I, I do not like tracking deer in the dark. I don't, I honestly hate hunting. I don't like hunting in that thing, because you kill them, you do have to track them in the dark. And on public, here in Iowa anyways, we can't use any motorized vehicles, or we can't drive our truck down here nothing like that we gotta drag him straight from where we get him so yeah we're gonna go see where i shot him i'm ranging I'm, I'm pretty sure it was probably like 20 20 yards but i'm pretty sure i got him right there in the pump house sever Flew like a dream. Dead blood. Dead blood. Yeah. yeah, I got him, dude. That's bright blood. Look at the body on them. All right, well, I couldn't be more happier. But yeah, no, we, we had a tough year so far. Like number wise, we don't, we have not, last year honestly was like, last year should have happened, honestly. It was, last year was just too perfect. Seeing a whole bunch of deer and stuff like that. And like lately we took a whole week off and that entire week we didn't see a single deer under the stand. Or even close. And then, yeah, today we just came out and said, you know what, we're just gonna go out and try and try to. Put this back in. We're gonna go out and try and just move around. And it worked out, obviously. But, man. 
crap thing is, we're about two miles back in here. Andrew kind of shot a little bit back. Yeah. Uh, on the camera, it looks like three, four inches. Okay. Yeah, three inches back of his neck, right at the heart. <laughs> yeah, fool, right fool, fool with the tags on him already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you Hell no. <laughs> bro, he we'll try. Bro, this, the body's bigger than Andrew's deer last year. Yeah. The rack's not big, but the body's way bigger than last year. Pick up Brennan too. Yeah, Brennan got a cart too. I got a cart on the top. Yeah, we got a cart too. Uh, we're, we're parked on the same side Andrew shot his thing too. Yeah, but honestly, we might be closer to the top side. That's how far we walked in. Again. Huh? So we meet again. Hey, this time it's dead. Is it? You see the picture in the group chat? <laughs> you see it? Yeah. Uh oh. I'm saying. Hell yeah. All right. Meet it. You ready? Oh, hello. What? Hello, young one. Oh, <laughs> Isla's first time seeing a deer. What's that? Whoa. She said, what the? What's that, huh? See? Cat. What cat? What's that? Look at that cat. E What's that? <laughs> yeah. It's a goat. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? What is that? She's like, I don't know, but I kind of like the way it feels. Oh, let me see it. Uh oh, through the deer. <laughs> Open the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> this is a FOB tradition. I can't join, so. How are we cooking the heart? Right there. Wait, we're gonna clean it. Uh, heart with the beer. Soaking the beer and be cooked stir fry. Asian way. How <laughs> you like the Asian way? That's good. It's hot. Hot. Look, uh, dear heart with the beer. Look. Asian way. FOV way. Yep. Wash your hand there you get it. No, we're gonna clean it. <laughs> I'm not still on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Everything, look at all the blood come out. We're gonna wash it again. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, all, up. Yep. <laughs> See all the blood come out. We can clean it. <laughs> nice and clean. No, no, no. See? no more. No more bubbles. Oh. See that nice and clean? No bubble. Now we're gonna clean up it. Raise up in the water. Enough. Yep. Look, no smell. 
clean. Clean, see? Hey, look. No blood. See? All good meat. Yep. This is one of the Seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, one. Just get one of them. Burn it off. Burn off the game's meal. If you and you see all the this is how if he start moving, right? how you took the loy. Look, Asian way. Walking, walking. Nothing on it. With the sauce. No. At least he's still walking. Right. Yeah. He stop. Huh? I said, go home to the It's not even that late. Though. Yeah, it's only huh? seven. Only oh, seven for you know time to go sleep. Like one, three, one. I go say like nine. Explain it. Okay. I do. It's like a ribeye. Really? Yeah. It's just like a steak. No deer taste. No, di no difference at all. Just like no. a steak. No seasoning, nothing else. I'm telling you, you no put sauce. this with like the other one, like nobody what? would ever know. Yeah. There's no way. No. This is the the Asian way. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 we're not doing that. We're not doing that. What? Don't I'm forget still, my nose is still sniffling. <laughs> the, the, uh, Final product of the heart. Yeah. Simple. Simple. Easy. All right. Well, that's going to do for uh, this video. Um, it was a great time. We uh, decided to show you guys a little bit after the scenes and after we do get our bucks and stuff like that. But yeah, that's basically how it goes. It's basically. Just like a deer camp, be it doesn't matter what it is, big buck, small buck, doe, whatever. Um, yeah, we all just like go to wherever and talk about it and have a good time, eat some food, eat some fresh deer meat. And uh, yeah, you guys met my dad for the first time, that's my dad. Uh, he loves cooking and cooking for four people too, so he uh, personally enjoys it. But um, He's yeah. our mentor for hunting, for everyone. Yep. Basically, he's the one who got everyone basically started bow hunting and taught us what and what not to do and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, we're gonna wrap this video up. Still got a whole lot of November to go. So, Marvin should be next. Hopefully, the next deer right here is Marvin's deer or Austin's or Miller Austin or Brandon's. Well. Brandon's also going out here soon, so hopefully, he gets a deer too. But uh, yeah, it's been a been a good season. Mine's basically wrapped up. All, all I have is a doe tag, and so if a doe were to walk in, then obviously I'll take that doe just because Marvin uh, bow. I can shoot Marvin's bow just as well. I can shoot mine. So if a doe were to come in, Marvin just hand me his bow. But I'm mostly gonna be behind the camera now from now until the end of the season, part until like ice fishing or shotgun season. But yeah, it should be a lot more content. So you should probably subscribe and see what else we got going but um yeah it's late i got work tomorrow and um yeah if you guys enjoyed please like comment subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next fob episode